Hello, you beautiful people. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lucy Stevenson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new, please don't forget to hit subscribe, give this video a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel and turn that notification bell on because we are uploading back to back and the days that I don't are normally upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays, so you don't want to miss any of my future videos. We're actually going to be back with another one of these videos tomorrow, which we'll get into in a moment, but today we are going to be doing a full review of a brand new princess that has came to iHat Revolution, and I am so excited for this one. I am excited because it's a bit different as well. So they have paired up with Snow White for this. If you've watched any of my previous Disney princess videos, I will leave them all linked down below in case you haven't. I have literally done every single one that has came out so far, so I'll leave it linked down below if you want to go check it out but this one is a little bit different so normally in these collections you get a palette a highlighter and a lip gloss the first three princesses they did um kind of lashes but they stopped doing it after them ones but normally it is a palette with a face side eyeshadow side a lip gloss and a highlighter this one is a little bit different so this time we have the palette which is just a classic beautiful i've even matched my little my little lights in the background so it matches the packaging but this is just what this one looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. And again, I've mentioned this before, I love that it looks like little books on the shelves, like all of them match. Oh, it just goes so nice together. And then the inside of this one looks like this. Just get my hair out of it. <laughs> this is what she looks like. So we have the face palette on one side and then the eyeshadow palette on the other. In regards to the actual eyeshadow palette itself, it retails for £15, the same as the other ones that they've brought out. I think the colour story of this one is just perfect to Snow White. I love that there's a matte blue, I love that there's a matte red. I just feel like this one is just going to be such a fun one to play with. So that is what we have for that. We also obviously have the highlighter. This retails for £8. This comes with every single princess that has been out so far. And this is just what it looks like. So again, matches all of the other ones. And then inside, it's like a little apple. It looks like this. It is so, so cute. And it's a really, really light one as well. So if you're looking for one and you are quite fair, then this will be a good one for you to try. Let's see what it's like on my face first though. And then of course, we do have the gloss, which is stunning so this retails for five pound i have said in previous videos as well that i actually use the princess glosses a lot more than i ever thought that i would and this one is beautiful like look at her i don't know if the camera is going to pick up the kind of i don't think it's gonna it has like a really shimmery like reflect to it my camera is just not focusing at all today that's a little bit better oh my god but it's such a rich shimmery red and but it has got like a, a purple ready shimmer through it or oh, it is beautiful so i'm really really excited to try this as well and then the other thing which is totally new for the princesses we actually have an additional palette so this is what it looks like and it's after the little seven dwarfs i think this is so bloody cute like i think it's adorable it's so clever as well so this retails for eight pound i feel like it should have been seven pound just so it matches kind of the seven dwarfs but that's just me being a little bit cringe <laughs> and then it looks like this it's like a long thin one or just to let you know as well um, if you have watched my previous announcement, I do work for Revolution now, making content for them for their social media. So um, they'll send me the products and tell me what videos or TikToks or whatever they want me to make. But I'm under like no obligation to do anything like this on my channel. If you've watched me for a long time, I always review every single princess anyway. So this was going to happen regardless whether work gave me it from doing a job for it or whether I was going to buy it myself <laughs> like this is this was going to happen either way so when you open it up it looks like this it has a little mirror inside and then the actual palette just looks like this obviously each of the shades are named after the dwarfs so sleepy dopey etc that's what they all look like and tomorrow as well just in case you're wondering is going to be sleep and beauty so we're going to do a full review of the sleep and beauty one um and again there is something different i'm not going to show you actually i'll wait till tomorrow to show you there is something different in sleep and beauty's collection as well compared to all of the other princesses so yeah let's just get let's just get straight into it so i've just primed my eyes i went with the revolution ultimate eye base for a change just for it being 
a revolution video i thought i'd schnazz it up a little bit and then i'm going to take again um, a revolution r11 detailed concealer brush and i'm going to go in with the shade apple which is the matte red in the collection i'm kind of feeling like a matte red to blue with a cut crease of gold i don't even know if it's going to go I don't know any, I don't know if it's gonna go at all, but we're just gonna go with the flow of it, like literally just go with the flow. So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to tap it into my crease and just basically put it in the first half. I'm gonna take another one of them same brushes. So I think it was like the R11 Conceal brush and I'm gonna take the matte blue, which is called Evil Queen, this one here. So yeah, I'm just gonna tap this in this outer corner and make a bit of like a flicked out shape as well and just basically build up the pigmentation until I'm 100% happy and happy with the shape and then we'll come back and kind of blend it all in. I've never ever tried a red and blue together so I don't really know how this is going to go. I don't know how it's going to blend but we'll just go with the floor. So that blue was not as pigmented as the red. I feel like the red was really, really pigmented. I feel like I had to really build up the blue for it to be as intense as what it's looking there. I maybe said like two or three like presses of, of putting it on a little bit. So just thought I'd let you know um, that I just need building up a little bit. And there isn't like a, a lighter blue in here to be able to blend out or like a lighter, like ready pinky color. However, it has got a white, which is beautiful because it means that we can use that to blend it all out. So I'm going to take a R2 Fluffy Eye Brush from Revolution and I'm going to go in with that white, which is called Gentle Grace. I'm going to take some of that and I'm going to use this to blend out the edges of the red and also the blue. So now that we've blended that out, I'm going to go in with the Revolution Ultimate Eye Base and then just a morphe m424 <laughs> i couldn't speak right up then and i'm going to cut my crease and then we'll come back and i think we're going to go for gold on the lid just to make this look even more crazy than it already is <laughs> okay so i've done one cut crease it actually went really really well i also use this tiny tiny brush from morphe as well it's the m25 and the little dash zero very very happy with that <laughs> and then i'm gonna go in it's gonna do one at a time because i don't want to jinx myself with it so i'm gonna actually go in with this one which is called seven i was gonna go in with huntsman oh, i'm just feeling this let's see what it's like because it swatches so nice and you can see it there and then that's huntsman there so just like i want to go more for a little bit more golden if that makes sense and then I'm just going to take my finger, oh, I don't know if you could see that, I don't know if my mirror was blocking it, but that is good. Why am I so far? Let me zoom you in a little bit. That's the closest my camera goes, I'm such a spud. But yeah, I'm just going to basically tap this all over this cut crease, and then I'll use a little brush to get right up to the actual line itself okay so now we're looking a little something like this i'm really really happy that i'm actually really impressed by using the that base instead of the p louise one i feel like because it's a bit thinner it's easier to work with and it's easy to clean up if you like go completely wrong which i definitely did on this eye i went completely wrong and pump i was into this one so Hey ho, we live and we learn. So I'm gonna go off camera, I'm gonna put the rest of my base on, then we'll come back, we'll try some of the stuff on the face side of the palette. We'll also try the highlighter and also the lip gloss as well. I had a little look to see if there's anything that I could incorporate from this eyeshadow palette into my look, but even like my lower lash line, none of this is gonna go with the look that I've done today. So like I said, if you do want me to do like a little TikTok video, little Instagram reel on this, then let me know because I'm not going to have time to do a full video on YouTube dedicated to it, but I'd be more than happy to do like a little TikTok video for you if that's easier. So yeah, I will put the rest of my face and we'll come back and we'll try some more goodies. Okay ducks, so we are back. I've got my base makeup on. Let's try some of these blushes. So as you can see from the first side of the palette, we have three blushes and then three highlighters as well. I'm thinking because I have got quite like it out there look on i think i might take a combination of the pink which is magic mirror and like a little bit 
of Wicked Queen just to make it a little bit more neutral. Obviously, I know it is quite a vibrant colour anyway. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take a tiniest little bit because I don't want to put too much blusher on just because my eyeshadow is quite a out there look <laughs> as well. So let's see what this looks like, a little combination together. I'm using, am I using the right brush? I'm using the wrong brush. Am I? Yeah, I am. I was thinking that's not applying properly. I've just used my powder brush. I have to wash that now, for God's sake. Getting my blusher brush. This one is the R, this one is the R9 sculpting powder brush that I use for blusher. I was thinking that's like picking up the blush is like really funky. It's because I'm using the wrong blooming brush. So yeah, I'm just gonna tap this on. I feel like this brush just gives me a bit more preciseness with it. And yeah, I just feel like I'm just, I don't know, I just like it. I like really tapping it into the skin. So I think for highlighter, we're gonna try this one. And then if I do do a video, like a little TikTok reel using the dwarf one, I will use a highlighter from the actual face palette, like the face and eyeshadow palette. But we're gonna go in with the highlighter. I'm just trying to get the seal off it if I can. Um, so we're gonna go in with this. So like I said, this retails for eight pound. Let's try this bad boy. I know that I've mentioned before that um, some of the princess highlighters just weren't that, that particularly good, like the first three that they launched. So I'm hoping that this one is the same formula as Ariel and Jasmine because they were so much better than the original three. So let's see what she's like. Please don't let me down. Please. Okay, that blended in really, really nice. So on board, oh my God, that is really, really nice. This is gonna be so good if you have a very, very fair skin because it just, I mean, it blends in at the skin really, really nice, but I just feel like for, I feel like Alex will absolutely love this. Oh my God, I put way too much on there. <laughs> Made my nose. Um, it is a very kind of icy, icy one. Oh, okay, look it up. And then last, but not least, we have the lip gloss. This retails for five pound. And like I showed you at the beginning, it is a red one. So we're gonna try it by itself, see what it looks like and see how pigment is by itself. And then if we feel like we need to have a lipstick underneath, we'll do that as well, but we'll see what it's like by itself first. So let's go in with it by itself to begin with. I have high hopes for this. Oh, okay, that is beautiful. <gasps> Oh my God, you definitely do not need to wear a lipstick underneath this. Oh my God, just this as gloss. <laughs> like what? This is so pigmented. I haven't even done my top lip properly yet. Oh my God. I would probably wear this. Well, I definitely would wear it with a lipstick. Well, not even a lipstick, just a lip liner of anything, just because I feel like it just helps me to apply my lip gloss a lot better. <gasps> this is beautiful. So this is the final look. I'd love to know what you think down below. I love that we've not even had to go in with a lipstick with this, like it's pigmented enough. It does look lighter off, like out of the packaging. What is the matter with me today? I cannot speak my words out. It looks lighter on the lips than it does in the packaging, but I actually prefer this colour. I feel like this colour is snow white. Like it, it's like the colour that she wears on her lips in comparison to this one, but this would also be a gorgeous colour if it actually came out this colour too. So in regards to the palette, like I said, £15. The blush is absolutely gorgeous. Obviously we haven't tried the highlighters in this one today, so we'll definitely need to try that in a different video or even like a TikTok reel or something. In regards to the actual colour story of this, it makes sense in regards to Snow White. However, it does make it a little bit difficult to make an eyeshadow look with it. And I feel like with this, like we're never happy. Like when we get given one where it you can make an eyeshadow look out of it, then we're like, well, it doesn't really represent the princesses. So I feel like I can't really win either way with it. Um, but what I did like is that it had a matte red, a matte blue, and um, it also has a matte yellow in there. It has like a nude one here. It's got like one, two, three. That one's got like a tiny little bit of shimmering, but I would use that as a matte. So I'm gonna say four, five, six, seven. Um, seven mattes, so definitely a lot of shimmers, which is something that is quite common anyway with Revolution. Um, but in regards to like, like we could have had like a dark green as a matte, which would have been really, really nice. Um, or even like a really, really dark, like this one. I know it's actually quite fair, it's quite similar to that one, isn't it? But even like a darker, darker royal, really dark blue would have been really nice. So I could have like deepened it up a little bit because it hasn't came out 
um, as dark on the eye as what it is in the actual pan. I love the names. I think the names are so cute. But yeah, that is what that one looks like. And then obviously we will do a video trying this if you want me to just let me know down below in the comments and um, because you don't let me know i just won't bother doing it i'll use my time to do something else that i hope that you did like instead so please just let me know down below in regards to the highlighter i think if you're looking for one of the princess ones and you want it to be one where it's wearable you're quite fair in complexion this is definitely one that i would recommend out of all of them it hasn't got the formula of the first ones it's definitely got that kind of new formula sorry i'm gonna have to lock my phone i keep looking at it um it definitely has the formula of like the recent ones like little mermaid ariel that kind of vibe so yeah i would really recommend that um if you are more kind of light in complexion and um, which makes sense because snow white is very 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 fair in complexion um and then obviously the lip gloss i absolutely love it has came out a lot different on the lips than it is in the actual packaging but i think this is more snow white than this is it could be the case that they've made it this color but in the packaging it just looks like this who knows but yeah five pound for this one and yeah i absolutely i just love the princess collections anyway if you know me my channel i love disney i love disney and love all kind of things like that anyway so i think after like they've done all the princesses i think it'd be really good for them to do like a, a princess or even like a villains i feel like the villains one would be spicy like that would be so good like a disney villains version of it like kind of like color pop kind of did something similar but i feel like it just it didn't i don't know didn't really take off the way that I would have liked it to. <laughs> um, and it's obviously harder to get over here as well. So yeah, I'd love to see like a Disney villains. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for Sleeping Beauties with you. I will see you tomorrow. Love you so much. Thank you so much. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>